So this is going to be a brief session, like 20, 30 minute session. So first things first, I would start with um with the with the need for the bootcamp, like the reason why we came up with the bootcamp. So um this this bootcamp is born out of um having lots of designers, developers, local developers in the industry actually learning and still finding it hard um, to to get a role, to get a job. But actually the the companies or the or the startups want designers who have experience building life products. And reason is because most of these startups, you won't blame them because most of them are actually running on seed funding. Some of them are actually running on personal funding. And most times when they want to get the the skill for their product, they mostly want to go for people who have experience building live products so that they cut costs and don't waste a lot of money. And that's why you can see that it's mostly the that's why you can see that it is mostly the big guys that that have the fund and the capacity most times to hire new guys a lot. Reason is because they have the they have enough money to cushion and to train the new guys. But startups mostly don't have that. And that has been a problem because I have come across um, new UI UX designers who know what they are doing, but because of the lack of opportunities for them to get in get into the industry, it leaves them less motivated. So that was why this bootcamp was created. Now the goal of this bootcamp is not to teach actually, not just to teach. It is not just to teach. If it's if it were for teaching, I have about um I have let's say three more videos coming out on YouTube, which is definitely free and which is going to cover the core of website design, like understanding website design the way it should be understood as a as as a designer i have other videos coming out on tailwind ui tailwind css i have html css videos coming out i have javascript videos coming out now that's if you want to learn and that's just teaching but the but the but the core of this bootcamp is not just to teach it is actually to teach then take all that has been taught and pipe it into a work experience pipeline so that um, when um, when you graduate from the bootcamp, you will have you will have um, a good portfolio that has some live projects on them to apply for a job or to operate as a freelancer because some because some people actually prefer to operate as a freelancer, but even as freelancers. If you go on Upwork and Fiverr, you would realize that the freelancers who earn or who make up to $10,000 a month or $5,000 a month, they are freelancers who have experience. And of course, even you as a person, if you go on Fiverr or Upwork to hire a freelancer, you will easily trust the freelancer that has worked on live projects before. So the, so the goal of the bootcamp is to train for three months. And at the end of the training, the student of the bootcamp will be broken into sections and will be managed by by a product manager now each of the group will will come out with four projects four live projects two web app projects then one comprehensive website project and one website project that's random but one comprehensive website project that will be a multi-page website and two web apps two web application pro and project and also and also there will be a there will be a um, design portfolio that will be gotten out of all of this because because for each project the team will design like will design we will launch a full design process batch after that design process then the team will then build that product that that they have designed and it will be deployed to the internet not on heroku not on netlify like it will be deployed to be a real application so that anybody anybody can go on the internet type in the url and access it and use it also 
Now, when these four life projects are live, every member on that team can say that they worked on the project and they can have those four life projects added to their CV. Now, when they use that and they apply for roles, that can make you escape design tasks, design challenges, and also you can work as a UI UX designer at that point, then you can also work as a low code developer at that point. Just yesterday, um, someone from Edev, it's, it's, it's a low code agency in, in the US. I was speaking with someone from Edev yesterday. They were actually hiring, uh, they were hiring four low code developers who will work on contract basis for um, with them for some time. And also, there are other low code agencies out there that hire bubble developers a lot. Bubble developers are being sought after these days a lot. So after the bootcamp, you will have four live projects to make you eligible for UI UX design jobs and low code development jobs. Now, the core is that you have four live projects. So that's it. So at this point, I, um, I think, just so I don't talk too much, I would like us to, uh, I, would, I, would, I would like to share my screen and I would, and I'll show you guys the breakdown of how the bootcamp will be organized. Now, I'd like to say this. Um, this is not going to be like many bootcamps out there where when you sign up for the bootcamp, then you are given videos and given PDFs to go and watch. This is not going to be that type of bootcamp mainly. So what, what the bootcamp is going to be, most I think... Um, Someone is spamming Tails, Tails Prod. I don't know who that is. I can, I think someone can help me kick the person out. Tails Prod. Let's kick this person out. So, um, I'd, I'd share my screen now. And I think if you guys if you can if you guys can see my screen, you guys can just say yes. But I believe everyone is seeing my screen. So, like I was saying, it's not going to be the most of the boot camps that you know out there where you sign up and at the end of the day you are given materials to go and self study, and then you come back, to, then you come back to just to submit task. It's not going to be such type of boot camp. Actually, it will be a different type of bootcamp. This is going to be a live bootcamp. So every day for three months, it's going to be like a like like a mini university where every day for three months, Monday to Friday, it's going to be a live session. An instructor will be there live to to teach you for four hours every day. Like the four hours is not at a stretch, actually. You'd have break hours, like 30 minutes break hours, but it's going to be live every day. And during this live session, everything will be covered and it's going to be practical. Now, um, I think I'll share the link to this. I'll share the link to this Notion document, which actually breaks down how the bootcamp is going to be organized. I'll share the link to this. And that's the link to the Notion document there. Now, this Notion document is breaking down the whole bootcamp in entirety now this is when it's going to start the boot camp will start on may 30 and the first is going to be course introduction now over here this is this is the detailed section of all we are going to learn that day or that period so you can see that we have june 21 here we have introduction to design introduction to figma and it's for four hours so this detailed section contains all the topics and all the technologies that we are going to learn for that class during that day. So if I scroll down, you'd see that it's broken down. We have the web design section, website section. We have the project section. We have HTML, CSS. Now in the Figma design section, yeah, we are going to learn Figma and Framer. Now I know some of us know how to use Framer. Now Framer is like a more modern design tool, but why I like Framer is because it's, it's just like Figma, but it prototypes better than Figma and and Framer has a feature called Framer site. Now Framer site can be used to get your live from to to get your design from 
website to live websites, like without you actually stretching a muscle. But the only thing is just that you'd have to design them in proper frames and, and all of that. So we are going to see how to use Framasite to design a website in Figma and take the website from Figma to Framasite and deploy it straight to the internet. We are going to buy domains. We are going to see how to purchase domains, how to set up um, a website deployment using, using cPanel and all of that. All of that is going to be hands-on and we are going to cover all of that in the website design project. So we are also going to see how to use makers.so. There, there is a tool yeah, called makers. It's, it also allows you design your website in Figma and take that website to a live website just from Figma without you writing code. Nevertheless, we are still going to learn how to write HTML and CSS, which is really important, actually. We are going to learn how to write HTML and CSS. And trust me, as long as you learn how to use Figma properly, HTML and CSS will be really easy for you to understand how to use. It's no big deal at all. So we are going to learn HTML and CSS, CSS Flexbox. Then we are going to have a project. Then we are going to learn Webflow. Now, all of these are intertwined because if you, if you learn Figma properly, then you can translate that or you can transfer that knowledge into HTML and CSS and you will be very compatible. Now, if you learn HTML and CSS properly, you will understand Webflow like, 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 like to be anything really, really easy. Like Webflow is really easy to understand when you understand HTML and CSS. And that's why if you go to Webflow University, they most, they most times try to teach you HTML and CSS first before teaching you Webflow. So that's what we are going to do in this course. We will cover HTML and CSS in depth, then cover Webflow. Then after that, we are going to move over and learn Bubble. Now, Bubble is a web application low-code platform. You can use Bubble to build web applications without writing code. Not websites, web applications. Now, we are going to see how to use Bubble to do that and it's going to be easy because the bubble ui engine runs on the css flexbox model so as we learn css after we have learned figma after we have learned all the other technologies that we want to learn you would see that when we transfer all of those knowledge and we and we pipe it down to the bubble section you will easily understand Bubble and we are going to see how to design a back-end workflow and also design a database using Bubble. Now, when we learn all of this, we are going to finally get to the point where we will have our team set up and the process management. This is where, this is where we are going to have a product manager come on board for, for each team help the team set up their process and all of that. Since it's going to be a remote um, project, execution we are going to use the best remote um remote work practices set it up and have everyone start building now this is the section where the whole teams are going to start building start building start building and at the end of the day we are going to deploy all the apps for for all the teams now the the cost of the bootcamp is mostly channeled or it is mostly geared towards the deployment of of all of these apps we are going to buy domain services and um, domain names hosting services and since these are web applications um, i think the cheapest amount we can deploy a web application in nigeria naira is i think it's about two hundred and twenty thousand naira that's the cheapest amount we can deploy a web application for so since this is going to be a web application we are going to deploy these web applications from the from the cost of the bootcamp so that's not going to be something that will come out of your pocket so this is going to be the end of the bootcamp where we are going to build the project and all of that then finally we are going to build our resume now when you are building your cv after the bootcamp you won't just put a behance portfolio link on your cv or you won't just put a like you won't just put the experience you have you would actually put in a live work experience like you'd say these are the apps i have designed and these are the links to the app now your recruiter will will go to the behance portfolio see how you designed it then click on the link to see the app in the browser now that's actually going to make you a well respected designer with that you with that alone you have actually scaled through that entry level problem of not always having to trust 
of not always having to trust the designers because they are beginners. So that's the main purpose of this bootcamp. Not just to teach you actually, it's, it's, it is mostly to give you that portfolio that can get you inside the, the industry without any problem. So you can, you, you can also visit this Notion document link, see the details and see all we are going to learn in this section. And then you can share your own opinion, which is what I'm going to actually do now. I'll leave the floor open. If you want to say anything, you can just um, say a comment in the chat box here. And I would, I would, I think I'd have to unmute um, everyone so that 